Victoria Tobey. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And just before I move into my congratulatory statement, I also want to uh, recognize Regan Watts, who works with Lafarge. Uh, had the great opportunity to work with him over a few years uh, in Ottawa. And while we're both still young, you think how long ago it's been. I feel a little bit older as a result, thinking how long ago that's been. So welcome to Regan and his colleague here from Lafarge on the floor. And Mr. Speaker, I had the great privilege last Saturday to attend a fundraiser at the United Baptist Church in Plaster Rock. And the church is led by the Reverend Warren Clapham and by the Reverend Sarah Clapham. And they were undertaking a fundraiser, one of many fundraisers, for an initiative they're undertaking next fall that I feel is important enough to be recognized in this assembly. In June and July of 2014, a team of seven people, three of them being from Plaster Rock, uh, will be traveling to the city of Katowice in south central Poland to continue a 13 year long relationship with the Baptist Church there. And the mission this time is actually twofold. First and foremost, the team will be conducting English day camps with Polish young people to help them further develop their English language skills so that they can begin to look for employment and life opportunities and be more competitive on the international scene, Mr. Speaker. And secondly, as a follow-up to a Franklin Graham crusade, and Franklin Graham, many of you may know, is Billy Graham's son. They'll be happening not long prior to the mission. The team will provide practical Christian teaching as well as help to these young people to learn how to live out their faith in today's rapidly changing world. So I'd like to recognize that work. Their fundraising efforts will be ongoing throughout the next several months until the uh, mission to Poland actually begins. And I look forward to helping salute them and support them as they continue this very important work and this important ministry. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.